Welcome back to Distant Signal and another video. Today is the 29th entry in the 90 day vlog marathon for changelings up into in the run up to the crowdfund on April 21st. And I have some, some news to report tonight. I've managed to schedule a scout at the Fox Ranch out in Fraser Park. So that's really cool. I'm gonna bring my 5D, uh, my trusty notepad, do a location scout, and uh, check out the light, see what that's all about, and check out the interiors of the house. So that is an excellent piece of news. Hopefully this works out, and hopefully the price is right, so that it fits within my hypothetical budget. What else? Uh, I'm continuing listening to The Mountains of Madness in my effort to dig deeper into the cosmic horror genre. Uh, Mountains of Madness is written by H.P. Lovecraft, the father of cosmic horror, and i got to say it's a really interesting... Uh, take on science fiction. I think this is around the time period where science fiction was trying to be as scientific as possible. So it's from the perspective of a geologist. A lot of the lingo is talking about rock strata and uh, eras, of, you know, geologic eras like the Mesozoic era and the Pleistocene era. I think that's one, right? So, it, so there's, it's a, there's a lot of talk of the uh, type of animals that he's finding in the sediment. And it it eschews a lot of the uh, very plot-driven sci-fi horror stuff that we sort of the, the sort of that we're accustomed to. It's very analytical and it's very professorial. So it's it's a really interesting, very old take on science fiction. I don't know what author took science fiction away from that very. It's got to be very scientific and focused on the technique, or at least making it sound as realistic as as possible and went more into the dramatic side. I think H.G. Wells might be responsible for that, but don't quote me on it. But I know that H.G. Wells is a very, very different kind of writer, very much focused on the drama and the, the, the reasons that the character is doing the things that they're doing, as opposed to Mountains of Madness, where it's really much more about uh, the scientific journey and, and opening up new discoveries according to the scientific mind and really following reason and logic and that can explain everything and that's why the characters in those stories it seems are so horrified by what they find because science can't answer what it is that they're seeking so i think that's that's a really interesting commentary on science uh and uh it's also the big difference between the the kind of sci-fi horror that we're we're used to today where things are very um, I think much more focused on the, the drama of it all instead of the, the process of things. So those are some of my first thoughts, uh, digging deeper into the realm of cosmic horror. I've been listening to a lot of cool soundtracks. I'll have to put some of those on the Spotify playlist that I've got for the tear with the world of changelings and take a listen to that. Uh, it's going to be evolving because I'm, I'm going to find some of this much darker, very amorphous sounding stuff that I think will go well with the feature, maybe even the short as as uh, this continues. So check out the playlist. It's gonna be in the description below. And uh, I will link to the first video I did on Fraser Park. It was the very first Changelings video. So you can see what it looks like at least at this time. And I think the, when I go up on the third, it's gonna be, I think snowy. It might, there might be some snow on the ground. I don't know. What else? Oh yes, this weekend I'm gonna be making some tentacles. Uh, I've got to find a way of doing this on the cheap, so I've got some supplies on their way from the internet, and they'll be arriving at work hopefully tomorrow, and uh, we're going to make some fake tentacles this weekend, or fake tentacles. We're going to make some prop DIY tentacles over the weekend, see how they turn out. I'm also going to buy a lot of KY jelly. That's going to be awkward for everybody at CBS. So yeah, so I'll keep an eye out for that. I'll have a little video about the tentacle making uh, this weekend and give you an idea of what it's like to make uh, some low budget cosmic horror tentacly props to build out this sizzle. Anyways, that's it. Have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you like what I do here, hit that subscribe button, find me on Steam, and support me on Bitbacker. For only $2 a month worth of Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, you'll get exclusive content, early access to everything I do, and access to my private Telegram channel, where you can ask me any question you like about the process of making changelings with cryptocurrency. All right, see you there.